All right, so today we have the 2022 TNT Firework Booth Flyer. And as you can see, I'm actually a little disappointed. In fact, this is all they have this year. So, um, um, you guys know I've been shopping at TNT for quite a few years. In fact, one of the reasons why I stopped was because I got tired of their duds, you know, from uh, TNT and then also Phantom uh, based in California. And so, I've been collecting these for the past few years, taking screenshots just to get some, you know, type of comparable prices over the past few years. But um, when I actually posted this on my YouTube community page a few hours ago, I was sadly disappointed because I noticed that they removed all the prices from here and they just give you this little sheet. Now, to some, this may be convenient, but for me and maybe others, this is really a big inconvenience. But um, I have a lot of thoughts today on TNT, some of the other questionable things they have been doing uh, to discourage additional firework sales. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. You know what time it is. So this is their backyard celebrations. And so um, I went to my local TNT firework booth and um, this is all I got today. Normally there's a, a printout and then you got a couple of pages or so in the middle, but I can understand how this is, envir this is better for the environment in terms of uh, them being able to uh, save some money. They don't have to do all the additional printouts, but personally I like to be able to open this up, get a real quick idea of the prices, not have to bother around with technology. And you guys know I love my tech and stuff. I got another channel where I do all of my tech reviews and stuff, but I don't see how this is really uh, quick and really user-friendly. Uh, scanning QR codes and have to sit there and go on the internet while you're doing your pricing. For example, um, if the weather is typically hot, you know, you ask for a flyer, you wanna hurry up and do your shopping. Who wants to stand out there in the middle of the hot sun in 105, maybe 110 degree heat, you know, looking at all the, uh, you know, your choices, having to find out exactly how much they cost, scan a QR code, and so forth. And so I have my cell phone here. Um, my setup today is a little different, and I wanted to give you guys a user experience. I didn't want to sit in front of my uh, computer and do a uh, screen capture because I want you guys to see this for yourself. So uh, this is gonna be the user experience. And so in order to use this app, obviously you could download the TNT app, I've had that for quite some time. And so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and open up your camera. Now the cool thing is if you guys have one of the newer iPhones uh, with all the upgrades, it can actually scan the QR code for you. However, if you have one of the older ones, I know that Red Laser Program has actually, um, sometimes I think you may have to update it and there's been some issues with it or whatnot. So you scan it and over here on my right, this is my screen capture. Uh, directly from my cell phone so you guys can see what's going on right now and so this is how they want you to do it this year uh, there are, again there are no prices here and you can obviously scan the QR code if you guys are familiar with Red Apple Fireworks and a lot of the other stores in the industry uh, you scan the QR code and then you get all your fireworks you get your prices and then you also get the effect but again from my personal point of view you know if you're standing there at the store first of all they need to have cell phone reception because what if you're in a location and you don't have reception. How are you gonna be able to get the prices or actually see you know, the effect? And I get, I get it, you know, that honestly shouldn't be a problem, but it is for a lot of people and it is uh, for a lot of areas. And so uh, these are their assortments. You have your uh, TNT uh, page here. This is where the QR code takes you. So we can go ahead here, click on the assortments and this is where all of your prices uh, will be. So right now, you guys can see here, I know you guys can probably barely see it here on the screen. Let me see if I can move it up a little closer for you. All right, it's not gonna work out that way. All right, but uh, these are your assortments. And so uh, the flyer doesn't have everything listed that they're selling this year. So they have a good starter package here for TNT $34.99. And again, I can barely see this on my phone, which is why I would prefer to have something like this because everything is not going to be listed. And you can barely see really the contents of, of, of this. So um, again, I guess uh, they want you to stand in front of the booth, 
you know, obviously look at the package and then find out the price instead of just having everything laid before you. All right, so we have assortments ranging from 34, 99, 49, 69, 89, 139, 174, 174, uh, 249, uh, 320, 799 is actually going up in price. In fact, uh, this max assortment, you guys all know for the past several years, usually is about maybe 500 bucks. And so um, I don't have my price list comparison in front of me from last year or, or the previous year, but typically for the past several years before, it's always been around 500 bucks. Uh, this one looks brand new. This is the 599 uh, Launch Pad Heroes. And then they have another one here for $4.99, which is 500 bucks. So uh, those are some assortments you guys have there. And then let's go on to the next category. And this is their mix and match pack. Look at them. Nice little cute items for the kids here. All right, so this is the tentacles. And if you flip over to the front, this is what they have here. But unfortunately, again, only on uh, the app is where you'll find uh, the prices. So you get two of these for 70 bucks. Uh, let's see, that's about $35 a piece for the two. Great mix and match items for 2022. You get your TNT uh, pink ice. And again, all these are ground fountains. None of these are aerials. And uh, they do have it nicely laid out where you could go ahead and watch the videos on here. I'm not gonna play them, where you can actually get the full effect of each uh, particular firework. Let's see, up to 70% off. You got your snaps here. Now this isn't listed. Uh, let's double check here. All right, I don't see this listed here on their flyer. So they got some TNT magic snacks for $5.99. You got your basic snakes, $1.79. And then you also got fun color snakes. All those are in a sorted pack for $1.79. 99 each and then it was 599 original price uh, Lightning flash. I love these little strobe lights. These are $1.79 was 599 So it looks like they've lowered their prices on some of these items here And let's take a look at our fan favorites All right, we got a 1599 pink diamonds fountain we got your pick a little Pete's. You guys are familiar with those. $10.99, $19.99, and $7.99 as well. $34.99, I'm sorry, $6.99 for the Orchid. $19.99 for three Amigos. And let's skip on over to the next category. All right, so here is your full 2022 price list here. You guys can see it directly on the phone. And again, the reason why I'm doing it this way and not doing a screen capture is because I want to give you guys a first person look as to what you'll have to experience yourself when looking at these prices. Now, again, don't you think it would have been much more convenient to just put the prices here? I mean, I get it. You want to save money. You know, you want to keep things digitally, but I mean, again, if you guys are having a hard time seeing this, then imagine people with smaller PDA phones, you know, smaller print, have a hard time reading things. You got to blow it up like this in order to really, you know, see it. Again, I just don't find this really convenient for uh, the average user. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at some more of our assortments. Let's see, we've already taken a look at that one. Let's see, we got our new items. It looks like they have some nice new items, but typically they have the same type of effect that they've had over the past few years. All right, so here we have the nine buy one, get one free items. Move the camera a little bit closer. This is all new for 2022. So we have the smoke balls, which are um, $8.99, bottle of sparks, $28.99, again, all ground fountains. TNT Blast, $8.99, I wonder what those do. 
I wonder if those are like a little crackling with smoke or something. Uh, we got our poppets. Those are the ones you throw on the ground and make that popping sound for three bucks. Fire crackle for $7.99. And these are $16.99. These are the Little Red Devil Fountains. Now, uh, personally, again, I've kind of retired from small fountains. I mean, unless they come in an assortment. Um, if you guys are looking for a bigger duration of a show, then you'll spend, uh, you'll, you'll find you'll have a better time getting more performance out of some of these here. In fact, I believe this is their number one fountain here, the opening show. Uh, let's find out how much this is. Now, Typically, the past few years, this one has cost 60 bucks. Let's see if there is any price increase on the opening show. Let's go ahead on here and find it. Let's see, we got finale items. All right, so it looks like the opening show is up now to $99.99. Uh, that's pretty rare, that's up 40 bucks. Allegiance is 119. I've never seen one this expensive before at TNT. Uh, Atomic Salsa, 99. Centennial Fountain, Candy Paint, and Living the Dream are all over 100 bucks. So uh, these are your 500 gram fountains here, which you typically call your finale, but if you want, you can actually uh, start your show off with this. It's all a matter of preference, and however it is you want to do with your show. But if you are shopping in California, and you are limited to your fireworks stands of TNT and, fire, and uh, uh, Phantom Fireworks, then this is pretty much what you're looking at. Now, however, oh, and then of course, if you are in Nevada as well, or other surrounding states where you can only shoot safe and sane, uh, this is pretty much what you're looking at for your uh, 2022 firework list. Here's a countdown here on the app. And then of course they have a, a zip code or a city locator. So if you want to use your surrounding area to find out if you, one, can shoot fireworks in your local area, because even though uh, you may have fireworks in a particular city, you wanna make sure that it's also zoned for your neighborhood as well. Because I know there are several cities within California and Nevada, uh, even though the city may allow you wanna find out if you're zoned correctly for it. Um, just to make sure you guys maintain all your safety and I uh, don't get any additional fines. So uh, here we go. This is the opening show. Let's see if I want to buy this. And now I do believe they allow you to also order online. So, uh, okay. So it looks like we got some Area 51 price matching here because this thing over here is now listed at $144.99. Buy one, get one free. So. I guess they've been watching some Perump videos and say, hey, this is probably the thing to do. Let's just go ahead and raise the price and say buy one, get one free. And, well, they've kind of already done that for the past few years. Like even if you bought some regular firecrackers, they tell you, hey, you buy one, get two, and then, you know, charge you 15 bucks. So they've kind of had that price margin. So uh, let's see, due to high demand, TNT fireworks may substitute comparable items of equal or greater value in this assortment. So uh, you can always attract a crowd using this as your debut performance. But um, if you guys aren't familiar with the opening show, it's very familiar or, or actually very similar to Cat Calls and Drama Queen. It's a little bit more downscale, but it's very similar um, among those lines if you guys have watched some of my other videos. Uh, but it's uh, definitely safe as saying it is definitely California, you know, regulated. But primarily, this is what you guys are looking at right now. Uh, for your 4th of July. But again, these are all the items uh, that you guys will be able to find at your local booth if you guys have already been out there shopping and looking around. Um, I don't know. I, I just don't like this format. I don't think it's convenient. I mean, just put the prices there. Just make things a lot uh, simpler. But um, they do have this app. They do have the website. They have everything up and running. Uh, make sure you guys get out there and support your local uh, organizations. Let's see what else we have here. Now, I don't think this one, another thing you guys want to keep in mind about this app, it's a little different from what pulls up on this flyer. So this flyer is dedicated to uh, typically what they're going to have in the booths. 
versus if you go to the TNT website, it's going to have their entire inventory on there as well. And if you guys didn't know, yes, TNT also does make illegal fireworks, you know, as far as aerial uh, aerials are concerned or other fireworks. So uh, they're not exempt like any other company. However, they try to regulate what other people can do uh, and what they cannot do. But yeah, they got cakes and stuff like that. If you guys look at their booths all throughout the United States, uh, like in Tennessee and other places or whatever they have locations, uh, they sell illegal, the, the typical, I'm sorry, quote unquote, illegal fireworks. So they do have all those looks. See, they got Roman candles and stuff. So again, this app uh, is not indicative of what you're gonna get with the flyer. This is all what uh, they typically sell. So you wanna make sure you stay with the QR code. So let's go back to the QR code. And this is everything covered by the booth. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Um, I wanted it to be a little different compared to what I normally do. Unfortunately, we don't have a price list that we could kind of go through one by one and look at every item without doing a screen capture. But again, this is what you, the user, will be experienced with or being presented with when you go to your booth. In fact, um, even when I went to the booth to pick up one of the flyers, the people that were helping there, they just kind of shook their head too. They were just like, yeah, sorry, this is really all we got this year. But again, um, all the fireworks that you're typically used to year after year, they do have them available and in stock. But I just think this is a hassle. Hey, honey, what do you think? You think this is a hassle? <laughs> so they want you to scan a QR code and look at their entire inventory and look at the prices instead you know normally they put the prices in here do you think this is really easier or, or no because what if um other people that doesn't have phones that doesn't that's not allowing them to scan right they have friends kids that have phones and they don't have the ability to scan right so they have to go to the booth Uh -huh. Cause that way, you know, you see it right there. You don't have to have the whole hospital. And plus, TNT they suck anyway. So I, I really wouldn't want that piece of trash right there. If you know, I mean, okay, yeah, other people might feel a little different way, but I, I personally wouldn't want to go to their booths and waste my time or money. Yeah, I mean, but for people who can't drive somewhere like we do to get fireworks or whatever, I mean, this is pretty much all they have. So. Well, the people if they want to carpool or something like that let's rent out a van and get some real fireworks <laughs> <laughs> i'll drive <laughs> all right <laughs> all right guys well thanks for watching this video um stay tuned to, towards the end i have some additional information i wanted to provide about tnt fireworks and you know as much as we try to bring acknowledgement and support you know all the vendors that are out there there are just some things that are really highly questionable especially when uh not local law enforcement agencies are trying to enforce but companies like this and so um, if you guys want to watch that um just watch the last few minutes of this video i got some important information to add on about tnt fireworks but uh, with that all being said i hope you guys enjoy your fourth of july and be safe and sane you know stay safe and uh have fun bye bye wait before you said bye i wanted to add don't forget to get your pets their medications oh okay well kisses said make sure you guys get your pets their medication and stuff so that way uh you know they don't suffer from all the fireworks and stuff going off you know this time of year your local pets um pet store petco or your veterinarian yep and make sure you guys follow them on uh facebook so you guys can enter that twenty ten thousand dollar sweepstakes make sure you guys scan that qr code so if you guys want to scan this QR code right now and shop online and do whatever, uh, you can go ahead and do that. There it is right there for you. Make things a whole lot easier for you. All right, peace. Bye-bye. So last year I did a video on TNT fireworks and Phantom fireworks and the state of California selling back illegal fireworks to TNT and Phantom. Now, the problem I have with this is that this creates a monopoly within the state of California and it not just in the state of California, but anywhere 
where uh, there may be additional firework vendors and uh, TNT and so is I know Phantom's involved, but pri- pr- primarily uh, TNT uh, is operating or doing business there. And so this makes it very difficult if you guys obviously are watching this uh, towards the end of my video, makes it very difficult for someone like myself and many others to really support what TNT is definitely doing. Now, I used to run a TNT or Phantom Fireworks booth. I can't remember which one it was. Uh, back when I was in high school, uh, I was working with the booster programs uh, because I played a lot of sports. And so ran that, you know, reason why I stopped buying a lot of fireworks uh, later towards the, uh, let's say, 2000 era and whatnot. I got tired of all their duds and stuff. And so um, a lot of companies, nonprofits, the way it works with TNT is they volunteer, uh, they get a booth, and then typically uh, that vendor um, is making a profit. So anytime you guys are, let's say, the football team, baseball team, a church, or whatever, they run the TNT and fireworks booth uh, within either California, Nevada, or any other state where they do business, they get a small percentage of uh, whatever fireworks that you are selling. And sometimes for some of those vendors, it can be really profitable anywhere between 25 and $30,000 for the few days that they're operating. But my main concern is uh, there's some stuff going on here. Um, I wanted to point it out to you guys. And again, I did this video last year where this is highly unethical. This creates a monopoly. And the only reason why they're doing this is because it generates revenue for them and they don't want any type of competitors coming in or anybody buying fireworks from any other source other than themselves. And so the thing that also gets me is that uh, where California wants to sell your illegal fireworks to TNT and Phantom, Keep in mind, Phantom has a fireworks store that sells aerials, which are the typically what they call illegal fireworks, on the California-Nevada border. And uh, TNT, I don't know why they don't have a store in uh, that neighboring state that inquiring minds want to know. But primarily, this is a financial benefit to them if they can get rid of the competition and encourage people or discourage them for illegal fireworks and have them buy theirs because they also have a contract with the state of California. And they're also uh, they have a contract and agreement with Walmart, which is why you guys see fireworks in uh the Walmart stores as well. So it's a huge financial uh, risk for them, for anybody else to be buying fireworks from any other sources. But um, I just wanna play a little bit of this video. I just wanna show you guys a few things because again, this is creating a monopoly. This is highly unethical for Cal Fire or any law enforcement agency to be working hand in hand with TNT because they're profiting from this. This is all a money issue. TNT and Phantom doesn't care about your safety. They don't care about the noise issues and all that other stuff. This all has to do with money. And what makes matters worse is uh, here's a case here. Uh, one of the area managers from El Centro, uh, this uh, for, I'm sorry, one of the area managers for TNT in El Centro, uh, if you guys know, a few weeks ago, I actually last month, I did a video with a store called Big Rise Fireworks, which is located in Winter Haven, California. They are on the southern border of California, right near the Arizona border. You guys can look up that video. Uh, I do have it here on the channel. And so a few days after I did that video on Big Rise Fireworks, they made this big stink in the news. El Centro to consider stricter fireworks ordinance. So these officials, uh, they want to make a stricter ordinance because somebody from TNT is complaining. And again, this is why it makes it very difficult for a lot of firework enthusiasts to really support anything uh, TNT is doing is because all of these other ethical, unethical, questionable business practices that they are doing. And in fact, I'm just going to scroll down here and I'll leave this link in the description below so you guys can read it. It says residents are complaining about illegal fireworks, particularly the mortar shell types that are fired from upright tubes and explode in the sky have been steadily increasing. Now, the argument here is that most of these fireworks are being bought on a tribal reservation. And so they're trying to make the argument to get them to shut it down. Now, on a tribal reservation, you can do whatever the hell you want. Uh, it's federally protected. They can have whatever stores they want to have. Uh, it is legal for them to sell fireworks. But 
this is in the state of California. And so this area manager is upset, not because of a fire, uh, a noise ordinance, but they're upset because it's cutting into their profits. That's the only reason, honestly, why they care. And so additionally here, uh, it said, he says here, quite honestly, a lot of them are being sold on any reservations in the region as well. Police Chief Brian uh, Johnson told the council. Additionally, the city's fire chief is actively reaching out to other federal entities as well. And it says, though city officials did not explicitly state during the council meeting that the illegal sales were originating from the Fort Yuma, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that reservation, TNC Fireworks Area Manager Steve Bennett did. So again, this is all a money thing to them. Uh, they don't care about your safety. Uh, and also, please keep in mind, TNT does sell the quote unquote illegal fireworks, the mortars, the uh, Roman candles. In fact, I showed you guys a picture of it earlier in the video. They sell all this kind of stuff. They just don't want their money being affected. And so they say they could do a lot of things on sovereign land, but selling illegal fireworks are not one of them. That is not true because I can tell you I've traveled quite a bit of distance throughout the United States and I've visited a number of reservations and they've always sold fireworks. At least a, a lot of them do. Um, in fact, I remember when I was a kid, one of my favorite fireworks that I saw was the whole bow and arrow set uh, with uh, fireworks. I thought that was pretty cool. And that was on an Indian reservation. And so it says TNT supplies fireworks that are sold annually by local nonprofits that are permitted by the city to do so. Again, this is all money. This has nothing to do with them caring about you being safe or the noises. TNT had been working with some local skate holders to shut down a business on the Quashen Reservation that has been operating since 2014 and which openly advertises the sale of illegal fireworks on Facebook. They're referring to Big Rise of Fireworks. TNT Fireworks stands with you guys in opposition to illegal fireworks, been said. We've been trying to fight this battle with you guys unknowingly probably for several years. So uh, you guys can read all of this. It says Bennett said it is less risky to travel to the reservation in Winter Haven to purchase fireworks than attempt to cross the United States with legal fireworks purchase in Mexico. So uh, that's who they are. So again, for me, I wanted to add this on here because I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't seen the other video, but this is questionable. This is not ethical. This is what you would call it a monopoly. Uh, if you're not familiar with the terminology, so for example, let's say Best Buy can't call up the cops to report something Target is doing or use some other type of federal agency to shut them down to increase their business sales. And this is exactly what TNT is doing. I don't know how they're getting uh, away with this, but uh, they can voice their concerns, but it seems like they have their sleeves rolled up all the way. And But to confiscate uh, people's fireworks uh, you know, if they're doing illegal, wherever they get caught, definitely understand that. That's not what I'm talking about here. But again, what I'm talking about is them partnering with local law enforcement and then giving them some type of financial kickback to do it. No, no. And then what they would do is take the fireworks, the ones confiscated people bringing them primarily from Nevada to California, give those fireworks back to TNT and Phantom. So that way they could use that powder to pr probably reproduce their own uh, fireworks. So, uh, they went on both ends. So again, all of this has to do with money and I like fireworks, but supporting a company like this no, no. And I know Phantom is in the mix cause this is really odd because remember Phantom has a store in Pahrump, Nevada. So what happens if, you know, somebody buys Phantom fireworks, drives them back across the border, they try to confiscate, uh, confiscate it. And then what do they do? Give it right back to them. I mean, no, that's, that's just, just, you know, it, it just doesn't work that way. But um, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys my thoughts, my concerns. Uh, there are other people in the community that feel this way. Um, I don't know if this is something that went into effect. This was something they were talking about last year. But uh, obviously, I don't see much of uh, uh, an effect this year. But no, this is really just questionable. It's like local law enforcement selling fireworks. No, I, <laughs> I mean, really, they want to sell fireworks to TNT and Phantom and make some money. That's it's all money, people. And so, again, you know, thank you for all the vendors out there. I mean, I definitely respect what you guys are doing. But as far as what TNT is doing, you know, if you guys have seen price drops or a lack of sales in the number of years, uh, this is the reason why, uh, you know, them creating that app to rat out your neighbors 
totally un-American. Totally. I mean, yeah, because even keep this in mind, too, for them to have that app for one, it's a contradiction because, again, they sell the aerial fireworks, illegal fireworks as well in other places. But keep in mind, there are fountains that are really loud and there are people that just don't like fireworks, period, even if they are legal. And so you may have people trying to call the cops, trying to shut that kind of stuff down. But you just have that kind of people that are more or less uh, just concerned about their animals and everything. So I um, just wanted to share this a little bit of information with you guys. If you guys didn't know the whole full story of TNT, this is one of the reasons why a lot of their sales have been dropping year after year. It's probably why they couldn't add that additional insert to the brochure, whatever the case might be. But, you know, I know there's things going on with COVID and shipping costs going up. All that plays uh, a big part of this, but <laughs> I can't stand behind a company like this. I mean, again, I like fireworks. I like well, what Phantom does. I like what TNT does as far as the fireworks side, but the uh, business model, the monopoly, and all that other stuff, no, they can keep it to themselves. So, again, guys, this is Keo Boom Dyke in. Consider subscribing to the channel. I will catch you guys later. You all have a safe fourth. Bye.